up. Um, I mentioned that 12 Labs uh, has generously uh, agreed to help sponsor this event. A really cool video uh, understanding uh, machine learning platform. They have been around for a little while. Um, they are, are a successful, uh, you know, well-funded startup. Um, but they started just like everything else as a seed, as an idea. Um, so here to tell you how they went from idea to uh, to successful company is co-founder of 12 Labs, So Young Lee. Uh, so Young, you want to come on out? Lish, we got the, ah, uh, there we go, awesome. Awesome. Hey everyone, I'm So Young, one of the co-founders at 12 Labs. Super excited to be sponsoring today's event. Um, yeah, so 12 Labs is a startup uh, building foundation models for multimodal video understanding. So we build large visual language models that can understand context within video and enable uh, downstream tasks such as semantic video search and classification. Uh, in more researchy terms, we're solving the video language alignment problem. Um, our product is a suite of APIs that developers can use to implement these understanding capabilities into their product. So before I dive into the demo, I'll share just a little bit about how we got started and why we're solving the problem we're solving. So we started the company in 2021 with five co-founders. The technical co-founders, the, the other four, uh, met in the Cyber Command as Deep Learning Sciences solving some retrieval and threat detection problems. And upon being discharged, we came together and founded 12 Labs with the mission of making video as easy as text. So this is a bagel shop where we literally started the company. Early, uh, when, early when we just started, we had a smaller model. It was our baby model that we had trained on free AWS credit that was given to us by Techstar Seattle, which was uh, an accelerator program that we were going through at the time. And we burn through that uh, 100K in free compute pretty quickly. So on the left is our earlier architecture, and on the right is our de baby demo, literal baby demo, it's our baby nephew. Um, but it, you know, uh, with our baby model, we wanted to see, you know, we had a pretty cool demo, but we wanted to actually see how it stacked up against the research and the models that were being built by larger companies and research organizations. And so our team entered the ICCV Value Challenge, which stands for Video and Language Understanding Evaluation. And there we were able to compare against uh, Microsoft's state-of-the-art baseline model, as well as some you know, pretty large organizations' research uh, arms. And I guess basically we just wanted to see if our baby was special and uh, you know, whether it was worth building a company around. And we ranked first place. So <laughs> thank you. And it was really exciting for us because to us it was kind of proof that what you know that our baby was indeed special, and um, yeah we were super excited about it. Uh, that's our CTO and our team kind of passed out after two weeks of no sleep. After that we raised our you know we raised some money uh, after her first first funding you know this is on the left it's a screenshot of our Zoom after we got our first term sheet. Um, the person who's missing from the frame like kind of collapsed in excitement and um, in total like we've raised 17 million to date. Um, and then after that we launched the first version of our APIs which you know which uh, and then we worked with developers building intelligent video applications across different verticals. And even with this earlier model we've been able to power real business applications in media and media and entertainment, advertising, creator economy, content moderation, um, e-learning, and security. And this is just, these are just some oddly specific examples that I pulled from a deck. And recently, we actually just soft-launched our open beta, so our baby is now in the wild. It's still a super early product, um, and in the model maturity timeline, we consider it a baby model. Um, so we think there's still a long way to go, but we're super excited to put it in the hands of developers and builders such as yourselves and get your feedback. So I'll jump into the demo. Yeah. 
And this is our API playground. So it's built on top of our APIs and you can pretty much index your videos and do the same task that you can through the API without having to code. I'll up the resolution a little bit. So I have an index that I've already created. So what I did was I you know, indexed 178 videos and here uh, we create embeddings that contain the multimodal context. And I'll do something super simple. Let's try a cat. And from my videos, it'll just show me, you know, where are the cats? But it gets increasingly interesting as you add context. So cat's doing something funny. The actual output that we give is the start and end timestamp and the video ID and the confidence score so that developers can put that into their application or power um, some of their use cases. And I'll go through some more interesting queries like a snowboard snowboarder jumping off a Red Bull helicopter. And you can find some pretty silly ones too, like um, Homer finds cash under the bed. But you can also power some uh, more serious ones too, like try drone shot of a police car chasing a motorcycle. So it's a police car pursuing a motorcycle, um, which has its use cases. And lastly, I, in the spirit of Star Wars Day, I wanted to finish off with this. Yeah, that's our demo. Um, you can do classification, semantic search, and we'll be coming out with the fine tunes so that you can fine tune our pre-chain model for uh, very specific domains. <laughs> uh, lastly, we just started a very humble Discord uh, server of folks who are really into AI or multimodal. Uh, so if, you want, if you're interested in learning what's the latest uh, research or you know, product other product builders, uh, you can scan the QR and join our Discord. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you, Soyin. So what we're going to have to do is have people generate videos with Amit's Pentafix and <laughs> then uh, use yours to yeah. index them. I'm curious, do we want to take a query suggestion from the audience and see uh, if we can find some ridiculous video that's yeah. oddly specific? We can try it, yeah. Um, anyone have, a, have something they want to just go ahead and shout it out? I, can, I can't promise the videos are here, but... Yeah, let me do Q&A in a second. Uh, what, what were you saying about air? Sorry to put you on the spot here, but live demos are, are the best demos. There we oh, go. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> now I found another one. So cool. Thank you. Awesome. So we have time for a couple questions. Let me uh, please introduce yourself, and then uh, and then I'll repeat the question. 
Hi, Sojun. I'm Elizabeth Sweeney. I really enjoyed your presentation. Um, I'm a stunt performer for film, so I think this would be super helpful in that industry to help stunt performers perform stunts safely and find examples. Um, another thing I do, I run a tech pitch for a comedy show that I'd love to invite you to present at. Early stage founders like yourself present in front of a panel of half comedians and half investors. And we have our show exactly one week from now at this theater. So I think you'd be an awesome fit. So let's chat after the show if you're interested in next week's show or a future show. And really looking forward to the success of 12 Labs and seeing what you all do. Yeah, sounds good. Thank you. Let's chat after. Awesome. Any uh, questions for uh, what's anything about 12 Labs, how it's implemented? Oh, I got one right over there. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. Hi. Thank you for... Uh, my name is Corinne, and my question is, how do you get your video, and how do you do label your video, like is the cat, is the cat running, so how do you do that? Yeah, that's a really good question. So um, the video itself, there's two parts. Uh, so uh, in terms of actually powering use cases in production, our customers and users uh, can index their own videos and then um, make it searchable. In terms of training, we actually collect so I mentioned our current, our latest model is Marengo 2.5, which has been trained on 100 million video text pairs and is a couple billion parameters in size. Uh, we also, we've also collected a couple hundred million video text pairs. We do this by using open source data sets as well as collecting uh, video text uh, through on the, on the internet. Awesome, thank you.